Scientists have explored possible links between climate change and virus transfer between species for quite some time now. Interest in this theme has been strengthened by the COVID-19 crisis, even if there is no evidence of a direct link between climate change and COVID-19. Global warming, scientists point out, can change the range of a virus or its host species, bringing them in contact with new species to which the virus can spread, including humans. Humans can also spread a virus back to nature or wild animals, and so the cycle goes on. Accordingly, some countries have started to regulate human-wildlife interaction, trade in wildlife, and selling of wildlife meat. The worrisome expectation is that COVID-19 could be one of many more pandemics humanity will suffer in the future. As we penetrate deeper and deeper into wilderness areas and destabilize ecosystems, we may expose ourselves more and more to pathogens that we do not fully understand, cannot control, and have little or no immunity to. From the point of view of environmental ethics, a precautionary approach should be promoted in order to prevent further harm to already destabilized human and other populations. Ultimately, safeguarding our biodiversity will be vital. We should also call upon our scientists to help us better understand the nature, extent and depth of our disturbed relationship with nature and other non-human species. Our humanity and the dignity of our lives in interaction with one another and non-human life seems to be utterly dependent on such knowledge.